What's good, everybody? It's your brother, Mad Black, the most dangerous and most toxic black man on the internet. And I am black up in your face again with some more pro-black commentary. First of all, before I get started, I just want to say thank you all very much for sticking with me this past year. And uh, happy new year to you all. And I, I hope that you'll stick with me throughout this year as well. I, I do plan on doing some really fun things here with Black Up Inya and some very serious things as far as the content. So thank you all for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for all those people who follow me on both Facebook and Twitter. And also thank you to those people who have become Patreons of Black Up Inya. There's lots of great content coming your way. And there are some other things that I, I will be producing both for the public and also for the Patreon in private, okay? So, first story I want to talk about this year is going to be about Miss Nia Long. That is the, the black actress that we all know from movies like Friday and, and Soul Food. And, you know, she was very big in like the 90s and early 2000s. And, you know, she's kind of dabbled a little bit even within like white Hollywood, she's been in some of their movies as well. But mostly we know her, black people know her from our own types of films. And apparently, Nia Long seems to have a, a problem with that because she made the statement saying that, you know, calling our films black led films or black movies is harmful. You know, terms like that are harmful and it holds us back. And I guess when she says us, I, I'm I'm assuming she means black actors. She probably means it in the overall sense of black people. Somehow that holds black people back. But the truth of the matter is what she really means is it holds back black actors. Or, or this, this, this is the weird thoughts that she has in her own mind. So let me just say this. As far as Nia Long goes on a, on a personal level, she is a very pretty girl. She's always been very pretty. Uh, even back in the day, and, and and I'll say honestly, she's still she's pretty now, okay, but she's never been the the sharpest knife in the drawer, okay. She's not she's not known for her brains, okay, and that's 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 just putting it lightly. I don't want to make it sound like she's a dumb dumb, but just from the things I've heard, and also from just how I see her act act and interact like in just personal interviews she comes off as almost kind of like the black airhead type you know what i mean so you know so you can't you can't really take what she says too seriously okay but you know this mentality does permeate a lot of black actors within hollywood okay they have a problem with being either curtailed or you know cartoned off into just black movies. They 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 thought when they got to Hollywood that they would get roles in all films. You know what I'm saying? They thought that they would be just as big as a lot of the white actors that they idolized. The problem with that is they don't seem to understand how white supremacy works. Okay? So it doesn't even matter if you if you're a woman who's fine to most black males out there. That that's, that doesn't mean that you're fine to a lot of white males. That's why a lot of the black women that that black men would put on a pedestal, who have always, you know, we've always adored and say we're beautiful, those women are you rarely see those women in white movies. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not they're not considered attractive to white males. White males might have sex with them, but for the most part, most white males don't see you know any real value in them. Okay. But, you know, I, I don't see anything wrong with black people having their own movies. You know, going all the way back, you know, ever since Hollywood has existed, black people have always made their own films, right? And even going into like the late 60s, early 70s with what they call black exploitation, and, you know, moving on into the 80s when we started making movies about you know, music and, and, and rap music and stuff like that, or even during the 90s, like the 90s was almost kind of like a a, a renaissance of, of great black films that introduced us to a lot of great black actors, 
and black filmmakers. And I, I felt like we did that and then we got received and loved so much by the mainstream, we just threw all that away. You see what I'm saying? Like, we, black people were, were are so, at least the ones in Hollywood are always looking for this mainstream acceptance. They want, they want white people to just love them so much and be in their films. So once they got that, they just left. It's, it, the music industry was the same way. We kind of had our own music that was great and fantastic. And then black people started deciding that they wanted to be mainstream. So they allowed a lot of these white producers and artists or whoever to basically steal our music. And they basically just wound up replacing us with, with white people. They do that, the same thing in Hollywood as well. There's only a few black actors who kind of get through all that. And it's like I said, very few. Like Denzel is probably one of the, the few black male actors who kind of is gets through with all that and not get pigeonholed. But then again, Denzel also does not really consider himself a part of Hollywood. He sort of tries his best to stay separate from it, which I could totally understand. He just sees it as a job and does his acting job and then goes home to his family, which is the smart thing to do. But so many of these other black celebrities want to be within the whole Hollywood structure. And that's where they wind up falling, falling to the, the, the worst parts of, you know, degradation. OK, so in my opinion, there's nothing wrong, Nia with being called a black film or a black led film those are usually some of the best movies like over the holiday season i was re-watching a lot of these so-called black led films from the early 90s like i was watching the five heartbeats i love that movie and and black people you know we can watch films like that and we can identify and we can enjoy them we all remember certain scenes and lines from that movie. I was I my my wife and I were sitting there watching it together. I was like, look, this is my favorite part right here. And that's when if you, you remember when the five part beats where they first tried to get a record deal, they tried to go to the the white record company and the the, the executive was saying, okay, we'll give we, we love this song. This song is so great. But I don't think it's the right song for you guys. I think we should give this to one of our other groups. And again, to this white group, <laughs> the one they call like the the Five Horsemen or something like that. They just they said, yeah, we got soul. And they started singing their version. Right? I got nothing but love for you. It was hilarious. That's all, that that scene always cracks me up. Like that scene and the the classic Big Red. My my business hours are from nine to five. And the other big red scene that a lot of people don't talk about, there's but there's another scene where he's where after Jimmy is killed, he where Big Red goes to the funeral and tries to hit on Jimmy's wife. That that scene is funny to me. I know that's messed up, but it, it's just funny to me. He's doing the fake crying and, and <laughs> saying you shouldn't be alone and stuff like that. That to me, stuff like that is funny. I was like, damn man, Big Red, Big Red ain't shit for doing that, but. That's what I'm saying. Like stuff like that, we remember. We remember scenes from our our black led films, and we enjoy them. Okay, we can repeat lines to each other. It's our thing. There's nothing wrong with that. Like I don't understand why, you know, some of these black actors don't appreciate that. You see what I'm saying? Like we we should appreciate that more. Other groups can have you know like Asian led films or. Uh, Indian led films like like India has its own its own film industry and it has no problem with that. Same thing with in over in China, they have their own film industry and and no one has a problem with that. But you got Negroes here; they want to integrate so bad. They're so obsessed with this whole notion of integration and to even say something stupid like terms like black led movies hurts us. I guess Negro if. If you feel that the only validation you could ever have is through white people, I guess that's hurting you. But if you are comfortable in your own skin and comfortable who you are and what you create for yourself and for your people, there, nothing's, it's not hurting you, it's only helping you. It's enhancing you by creating your own thing. I don't know 
you know, like I said, so many of these black celebrities, they want to be so much a part of white society. It, it, that's that's what's hurting you. I don't know if they realize that or not. They they think being called black is harming them. But really, it's your desire to be up under white folks or be the token black in a white movie or, or in a white song or something. You That's what's holding you back and that's what's hurting you. Not being part of a black led film or or uh black uh black movie. So you folks can let me know how you feel about it in the comments section. I'd very much like to hear your opinions on this and let me know what you think of uh, what Miss Nia Long had to say about being hurt by being in a black led film. Anyway, mad black, and I will be back with my foot on these devil's back.